Well, it doesn't look like they have any weather to worry about, but our weather's going to recover just a bit, Henry. Eventually, not necessarily in the couple, next couple of days, but as we go into the later part of the week, looking and feeling much better. I want to show you um, some of the stats from Bismarck and Minot. When it comes down to the snow, only half an inch yesterday at the Bis at Bismarck Municipal, but you'll notice the month of February, seven inches of snow. Check out Minot officially. 5.2 inches. That's more than what the Magic City received in the month of February, just shy of three inches and more than January as well, just shy of four and a half inches. So, so far this season, 23.2 inches for Bismarck, 33.7 inches in the Magic City officially. Speaking of the Magic City, look at that 13 degrees, beautiful blue sky. Bismarck, a few clouds, but comfortable at 25 degrees, just slightly below normal. 11 in Williston, Dickinson at 17, so temperatures gradually cooling down. The wind chills a little colder along and north of Highway 200, so some of you will be getting into at least the teen sub-zero for your um, wind chills for tonight. Across the south, still a little bit on the colder side for tonight, but no dangerous or life-threatening wind chills expected for now. Light wind does continue for the moment, but we're not expecting any type of turbulent weather, at least not for the next 24 to 48 hours, but we will have chances of snow. So calm weather for now. I'm saying for now because low pressure near the Black Hills, that's going to gradually push east over the next day or so, but even for tonight, that will bring us a chance for some light snow across parts of South Dakota. Um, South Central and Southeast or North Dakota for tonight and tomorrow morning. So this is your eight o'clock AM snapshot for your Tuesday morning. Notice the North. You are going to be remaining dry. Maybe a couple of snow showers across our far southwestern counties as well. Other than that, we dry up at least across the South as we go into the afternoon. But you'll notice across the Northwest, there is the potential for a few light snow showers. Some of that will eventually make its way into North Central North Dakota as we go into the overnight hours. Now look at Wednesday morning, four day in the morning. There's that low pressure finally pushing farther east. Another wave pushes in and that gives us a chance of widespread snow across North Dakota, parts of eastern Montana as well for your Wednesday, drying up the second half of the day south of Highway 200, north of Highway 200, still some snow as we go into your Wednesday afternoon, but this is not going to be a significant system. But let's talk about Tuesday snow accumulations, very light for Tuesday evening across the northwest and north central about a dusting at best, maybe a tenth or quarter of an inch, but you'll notice south central and southeastern North Dakota, north central South Dakota, anywhere from a trace to roughly an inch, but a few spots could pick up on an inch or two across south central, far south central and southeastern North Dakota. Not everyone, but the chance will be there. What about when we look at Wednesday? Well, the potential for two inches of snow or more in the low category, except for the Turtle Mountains in the far northeastern North Dakota. Other than that, we are going to be expecting rather light accumulations for your Tuesday night and Wednesday, but we're not expecting any significant accumulations like what we had over the past couple of days. But for the time being, single digits across the north for tonight, uh, lows across the south, in the teens and 20s, we're back in the 30s across the south. The north still a little chilly because of the snow, but you'll notice by Thursday, many of us back near or above freezing. Weekend is looking great. More 40s are on the way. All right, thanks a lot, Henry.